So um, the what well, nice Cobra said Union running rampant, dumping off teams left and right. Oh yeah, we should talk about the Philadelphia Union win. I, I, it, it's they're it's, still in first. It's like fourth or fifth win in a row. They're still um, in first. Yeah, their form is pretty crazy right they're, now. Uh, absolutely dominant. Um, they, they, Again, a game in hand. Uh, our, uh, our, uh, NYCFC have a game in hand. Yeah. So they would be uh, tied on points with them, uh, but 45 points. Just absolute. But they they really looked incredible. I, you know, I think when we first saw them uh, play against NYCFC at, uh, at Yankee Stadium, and it was the first time the Union won uh, at Yankee Stadium, it, it felt like they won 2-0. It felt like, all right, this, they got one. They got this one. Um, but then I think they played them one more time and lost again. NYCFC lost again at, at Super Park. But they... Uh, you know, picking up. You know, I thought when they when they lost um, when they traded away Casper Shaboko, I'm like, oh man, he was pretty good. I'm like, how are they gonna replace this dude? Right. But Julian Car- uh, Carranza has wow. been a stud. Bro. You just keep finding people whose names start with the cuss sound and are difficult to spell. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> this is an incredible stat. Okay, and I did the math myself, so it might be a little wrong. But they've obviously won their last five, six in a row without a loss because they drew to uh, Columbus, mm-hmm. uh, nil nil. But in the last six matches, the the, the score differential, oh, yeah. it is. Uh, uh, hold on, I'm doing third. <laughs> sixteen to four. It's pretty good. That's out of this world. And this is not a typical. This is not what we're typically used to from the union. No, know? the union are a gritty team. Gritty, you know, they ain't swaggy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> two three goals and but three two wins. You know. But they, I mean, what they did to DC, and then what they did to who was it uh, that they scored the six on? Houston. Houston. Lo debarataron, bro. Uh, what's his name? Fafa Pico was like, great to be back home, and we love Fafa, bro. <laughs> we love Fafa. Even Fafa, Fafa was. Was gr- it on me? <laughs> <laughs> it's on me. Is it near me? It's not on you. What is that? What it's is a that? fly. Okay, all right. I see some <laughs> flying, bro. I don't like bees, bro. <laughs> There's people out here waiting for for your takes, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Yeah, <laughs> this bee trying to take my life. Speaking of takes, uh, what you what you call? I'm not even reading the chat because I know y'all cooking me right now, boy. And I don't care. I we love Fafa Biko. He called it Fafa Delphia. Yeah, yo, he was a super. He was a superstar there. He's loved there. Not the warm welcome he was expecting. I mean, boy. I thought on the pitch, but the fans showed him a lot of the love. The fans showed him he, he's love, always but very the grateful. players of his <laughs> former team certainly didn't. Uh, it, it, look, I'm, I'm, I, I'm. You know, it, it's a whole other conversation about the the concerns for Houston. I, you know, that's uh, another day. Her, uh, this uh, is uh, the this is the Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Hector Herrera, I think, helped a little bit, but to lose six nothing still shows that. You know the mentality of the team that that, that something's definitely up. Or whatever. Yeah, it's a little it's a little crooked. But um, if you look at just what Philadelphia are doing, how much of this is the fact that well, obviously, look, you got to give credit to Jim Curtin, right? Because yes. he's able to pull this unit together. He's been doing it since it was threatened to be fired in what, like 2016, 2017, yeah. whatever that was. And he's been he's been an insane, at a, yeah. just at an insane rate since. Yes, yeah, I, th- I believe he's second, the l- second longest tenure behind Peter Vermees, I believe. I mean, it almost feels like he'll never be. He'll never not be the coach of the Philadelphia Union. I mean, uh, yeah, like he, he'll Maybe probably get... Men's, men's national team a little something. Yeah, who knows? I, mean, yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. I, I won't be mad. <laughs> you know, let's test the ring. <laughs> it's just yelling balling. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm, what, one of the things that inspires me is, yo, this Paxton Aronson kid. Yeah. He's got he's got like an, a, like another level of sauce compared to Brendan. It's insane. I I don't you know what usually the the younger sibling is the one that's like all right I saw what they did I'm gonna try let me right <laughs> I mean Brendan Aronson's doing all right I no, believe he's he, killing it he's trying yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no I mean the kids are like oh yeah maybe I could do what my older brother did yeah. little kids like is that all you got bro yeah 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 he's this, also way more of an attacking threat than Brendan Aronson Brendan Aronson likes to sit back a little bit more uh, I, you don't see it no I don't see it I don't see it I, I think that I think it's fairly even, but I think when Paxton's confidence builds, I think he'll he'll be as like you know moving the ball forward as much as as Brendan does. Do you think Paxton Aronson? How long before he's in the Premier League? Um, he how how much younger is he? I believe he's like uh, two or three years younger. Look at this. A nice Cobra said Paxton is definitely saucier than Brendan. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not. Say, I'm not saying you said attacking. The sauce. 
I get that. He's more of an attacking threat than Brennan. Brennan is more of a of a, of a creative midfielder in my eyes. Sure. Uh, Brendan likes to set him up. Dribbler. Paxton likes to knock him down. You know <laughs> okay. what, I mean? what, is, what, is what happened in that house <laughs> in Thanksgiving? That's my question. Uh, Thomas uh, says uh, Salzburg is sniffing around Paxton, uh, allegedly. Okay, I can see that. Uh, and Thomas also did mention, um, uh, I don't know how to say his name. He's 18 years old. My, is it Michael U- Ure? U- Ure? Yeah, he's the. You're asking me how to say he's something? The, he's one of the newer players on the Philadelphia Union, but he's been scoring a whole uh, gang of goals as well. Well, uh, but it, it really it, it's for you know when you look at how, exactly you know especially how much Philadelphia Union spend they they don't they're not up there with a lot of the other teams and they they get so much out of their players. So remember that what was it the uh, what like Sugarman right? That's their yeah Jay uh, Sugarman. God, what a name, bro! It's a great name, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is weird, but a guy named Sugarman. The rumor was he didn't want to spend. Okay, they just turned on. A sprinkler close to us, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to come this way. Let's hope. Uh, it would be hilarious if it did. Maybe get rid of the bees. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should kill all the bees. Have we thought about that? Uh, <laughs> which we'll go. Remember the thing was he wasn't he didn't he wasn't spending and the, his plan wasn't to spend the way some of the, like the Atlanta Uniteds were at that time, and they were like we have a we have a plan we have a we have a plan and uh, it seems to have worked. They they seem to have uh, you know put a lot of money into their academy. They bought really smart. They got guys like El Sino that have sort of fit right in and been able to be like functional additions to the team. Right, but it's it's really in their youth. I mean, uh, the youth system is just at this point. It's like was it uh, Quinn Sullivan, um, uh, McKin- McKinley, McGinley? Uh, who just who's, who just, who's just scored his who's, first yeah, goal? Who's been um, but it's just you, you, you look. I, we were just at, at training and we we're hanging out with some of the the younger the younger players, and you the the one thing that I think the Philadelphia Union do so well is is one giving the, the, their younger players real opportunities to play on the first team. They get minutes right. similar to what FC Dallas has been doing for a little bit of a while. Right, right. Letting I, them like train with the with the senior team. But, uh, but more even more than that and I think you know this is where I, I give a lot of credit to the Philadelphia Union. I think they instill a lot of confidence in their younger players. Uh probably my maybe best in uh, FC Dallas might be the Next closest, or, or they they might be neck and neck as far as just like young players. Like that, you mean also like the level of professionalism? They they are like well, well, I mean, pros already when they're young. Yeah, that too, but but just the fact that. So it's not what you meant. There cool. there, there, will, there will be game. There'll be games where they'll start like two or three of their academy players that came up through the academy, which is not super common. Is that a B? No. It's not a B. Okay. <laughs> All right. If it's flying around here, I'm assuming it's a B. Uh, Beyonce's new album is out, by the way. Yeah. Queen Bee yeah. is out here. Um, I'd much rather we're near a Bay Hive <laughs> than... Um, but no, it, it is uh, uh, pretty impressive overall with uh, with them. 